Okay, so this is desk job. And like I said in my intro, I have no idea what's actually gonna happen in this game because I did not read much of the intro, it was just suggesting, so. Welcome to the Aperture Science Competence Center for our most gifted employees. I'm Cave Johnson, and if you're hearing this, you are exceptional. Thank you. No, don't be bashful. It's true. No false modesty. Let's get started. Everything I touch turn cold. Need no introduction. I'm here. I'm here, good sir. Look at all those tubes oh, stretching wow. off in the distance. Every one of them's taking something important to a genius who's going to use it to change the world forever. A genius just like you. Uh, thank you. How are you going to change the world? Tell me. Well, that's up to you. History will remember what you do here today. Do not let us, and by us I mean all of us, Is all of humanity. Okay, bombs down. and bullets. Just so congratulations. Me. You are about to take part in the greatest science adventure at the greatest applied sciences company on earth. This is important work, and you Random are just the genius nice. to do it. God gave you these gifts. I'm giving you the opportunity to use them. What if well, I come here's your basement? lab. I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. Moon landing excitement. Newton, Einstein. Wait a minute. That's, now you. that's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in. Hold on. Good luck. World's best science. Okay, here we go. You, in the overalls. Uh, Get to work, or you're fired. They don't give out overalls anymore. Anyway, my name's Grady. So you can call me that. I mean, okay. let's do introductions <laughs> yes. later. I think you I've should really already now. be. <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised you're not fired already. Oh, nice. Anyway, uh, okay. you are a uh, ba -ba -ba product inspector. Oh, okay. That is your inspection desk there nice. in front of you. You will be inspecting. Uh, okay. Uh, doesn't say. Anyway. Something is going to come down the conveyor belt, whatever it is. Make sure it works. Once you've done that, keep doing that. That's the whole job. Anyway, just remember, the important thing is to have fun on your own time before you come in. Otherwise, it's just, I don't it's, it's real bad here. It's fine. You'll probably be fine. Good luck. <laughs> okay, thanks for the motivational speech. I feel so... Okay, so A does that. What happens if I click it again? Nothing. Okay, okay. X. What does X do? X does nothing. Okay, that does. We're supposed to click this. Okay, I have to use L3 and R3. <gasps> what? That is actually so cool. What happens if I click it? Nothing. Oh, it's a button still, so I can click it. <laughs> okay. How do I get those things to work? What is that? What's that button? Yeah, I see them, but what do I do? Damn it. What does that button do? It's... Good gosh. Oh, wait. That's the wrong button. No, it also doesn't do anything, so... Ah, okay. That apparently, those two big-ass buttons is my center button. If you're not figured it out yet, I'm using a PS4 controller, so... The whole... Y, X, A is kind of confusing me a little But, um, <laughs> okay, R2, alright. Is this like base? Whoa, that is a lot of buttons. Now everything is getting scary, okay. Aperture Laboratory, testing and collaborating the part. Okay, let's click X, X to Y to B, okay. Oh, I've got a test, like. Well, okay. Do I have to like stop it or does it stop on its own? Let's test that. Like, oh, yeah. This one you have to hold in. Okay. Does um, it mean green? Does it mean it passed? How do I, I know if it's failed? In? I guess the computer decides that for me. Okay. Pass. <laughs> Is this what I have to get there? It's literally. Okay. I wonder what happens if it fails the test. Okay, B. I'm so good at my job. Damn. I think I deserve a raise. Oh, shit. When do I get a raise? <laughs> okay. What? A little bit of B and a little bit of A. 
Wow, this is the easiest job in the Damn world. Damn it! I knew it. What? I, I left the volume down. Hold yeah, on. Zip zap zap. That is how you inspect a toilet. I hope you were paying attention because I'm not saying any of that twice. Oh. Look, it's not rocket science. It's not even toilet science. Here's everything you need to know. See that light on the wall? If yeah. that light goes on, you're fired. <sighs> nice. Okay, good. You heard the important part. Wait, wait. Hold on. Have they all been smoking? No. You know what? It's not our job to test if the toilet's on fire, right? Just do your regular thing like normal. Move it down the line, and then it's somebody else's problem. Now, that doesn't sound all right, but okay. You think your job's bad? I mean, your job is bad. Yeah, yours is pretty, yours is pretty chill. It's... Do you hear that? Hold it's... on, I'll, let me take a look. Is there a bloody engine in there? What's that? Yeah, keep testing it. I think there's a jam in here. A jam? It sounds like there's a bloody engine inside this. Oh. Can you get me out of here, please? Thank you. Uh, I don't know how to. Yeah, I'll flush him. <laughs> Can you get me out of here? Nope. I'm just <laughs> wet now. Cease. <laughs> oh. No. No, 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 no. That, it's working. Huh? Oh. I think I just broke the battery. I think I'm gonna just get fired. Just test it. Get it out of here. Well, uh, I think I'm gonna get fired. Holy crap! So, uh, first off, I I think we're in a lot of trouble here. I think so too. Now, I also think we're gonna be rich because I think you just admitted something. Okay. Then here's what toilet. we are gonna do. I'm gonna go work on this yeah. in secret. Just you go back and pretend to go back to work, right? Okay. Like it's gotta look good. I uh -huh. mean, just pretend the most you've ever. You know what? Just go back to work. Actually, yeah, that works. Uh, I'll be back. Okay. Your luck is not coming back. But um, the, the factory's kind of screwed, all right? It's... Whoa, what's happening? What did I do? Oh, that's kind of cool. Six months later. Damn. Six months and you're still on the toilet testing station. Hectic, my guy. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, oh. I'm back. Uh, What's up, husband? First off, Shooting you toilet. did awesome pretending to calibrate all those toilets. The best. All right, are you ready for this? Presenting... Pre presenting the oh. Aperture Science Turret. That looks Go on. so Thank awesome. Thank you for spin. <gasps> yeah. And I haven't even shown you the best part. The best Here's part. the best part. What's that do? Left. Oh! Shooting. That you know is what, so though? awesome. I mean, you're definitely going to kill yourself with it pointing at you like that. So let me just turn it around. Maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. Whoa. All right. Shoot again. Don't worry. It's yeah. safe. Right. I mean, this time. This time it's safe. Last sure? time it wasn't. Are you sure? You that? almost died. Yeah, I almost did. Almost did. Okay, maybe this time it'll be alright. Wow! Holy moly, man! That is great! That's good. Oh man, the turret broke. That was the only one, too. But don't even worry about it, because here's what I've actually been working on. <laughs> what the hell is that? Introducing thing? the Mark II. This what? is what I spent most of the six months on. It was one month for the first turret, and then like five for this bad boy. Oh, okay. Oh man, you gotta take my picture with this. Uh, the desk should have a camera built into it. Chris, if, why do I have to use my keyboard if I, uh, uh, that makes sense. Are you taking the picture? Yes, no, yes. I took, I press F, F12. I'm posing for it right now. This is my posing face, not my regular face. I'm pushing it. There okay, we go. Okay, good. <laughs> Moment. Recorded for all the history books. Now yeah. for the fun part. You yes. are gonna take it for a spin. Oh, Here, let me turn it around. Yeah. Okay, oh. normally I'd walk you through everything, but I think you get it. Let's just open everything at once and see what happens. Okay. Okay, go crazy. All those controls do something. Really? What do they do? Oh, also, some of the crazy shoot. Wow, right? Oh, okay. uh, this is great. This okay. thing shoots so good. Okay. A part fell off. Keep going, though. Yeah, are you sure about that? Alright, something 
everything else fell off. It's just... You can still shoot everything else. Don't even worry about it. Oh, another. Let's just destroy the factory. I think okay. that's a good idea. Okay, so what's okay. that? Quite a bit's falling off. That's okay. Oh, little mini gun. Keep shooting. You're not doing this. This is a structural engineering problem. Yes. It's on me. You're doing great. I bet it's the glue. I'm 99% convinced of that. It even looked cheap when I bought it. I remember looking at it like, ah, spend the extra dollar. And yep, here we are. That's kind of cool, though. I feel like, oh, okay. Everything is just coming apart. Like, I don't think this is a well engineered toilet at all. Not to mention, I just blew up the factory. Yep. Everything is broken now. the stuff I put on there just didn't work yeah most of it like 90% maybe I, or even higher maybe but yeah, I think I some of it worked great so all yeah, we have to do is pod. keep the great stuff and then we then we can so okay am I being fine that's now? the police is that, is that? so <laughs> one of us needs to streamline this turret right yeah and one of us needs to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse I think you because they're it. This is a lot of damage, and they're going to look into this. Yeah, but you're a robot. Which you job? Which job do you want? How about I fix a turret, and then you take? Yeah, I'll nah, do that. Nah, I know. I don't think. Remember, so. if Why? anyone asks, you don't know me. Okay? You're the don't robot. Say what are you anything. They're just going to turn me off. I have to go to actual jail now. <laughs> oh, that factory is destroyed. Oh my gosh! Look at these guys. <laughs> they actually build in a civilization over there. Holy crap, they living in this freaking. Well, I still have my workstation inside the prison? This doesn't make sense. Hey! Uh, well, I mean, this guy again. wow. You are the best. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and doing your time. Uh huh. I mean, Eight it was way later. more time than either of us were expecting. 18. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up, but they were, wow, were they mad. Anyway, I promise you're not going to regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, offender has been granted supervised early release. Oh, nice. Please sign for your possessions. Inmates' possessions are as follows. Desk, one. <laughs> Inmate must state their name, print their name, then sign their name. Okay. After the tone... State your name into the desk. Recording voice. Hi. BD. Moving on. Now, type your name. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if the whole voice in here, but alright. Type your name. I'm Bilsy. Type my name. Relax, lady. Okay. Okay. Submit name. Moving on. Okay. Now, sign your name. Oh my gosh. Use mouse to sign. <laughs> okay. So I was supposed to sign you. Yeah. Sign your name. Oh, Mercy. Shut up. <laughs> I don't even know how to sign. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to remember this because I'm not going to remember this at all. Uh, I don't know. There we go. There we are. As a condition of supervised early release, parolee and desk agree to report within 15 days. Hey, don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. That's right. Of course you I'm do. your parole officer. Of course you are. I mean, not just you. I'm managing like seven guys on parole right now, but... They're basically reintegrated back into society. Well, not Tony. He's struggling a little, but anyway, that's <laughs> all Tony. I was doing. Poor I got Tony. something to show you. Let's get out of here. It is never too late to met. You are both free to go. Thank you. Oh, uh, bring your desk. Apparently I will, because apparently I'm attached to this thing. Okay. Oh. Okay. I streamlined the turret while you were gone. Yeah. Introducing the Mark III. 
Ta-da! So I got rid of all the parts that fell off and just yeah. kept the stuff that worked. I mean, it was totally over-engineered, so it just does one thing now. It shoots. Okay. It didn't need a satellite dish. That was just dumb. Maybe. Here, try it on these appliances I found. They were just lying around in the housewares research department in, in a locked room. <laughs> in a locked room. Okay. Ooh, okay, we've upgraded. It's just like the Mark I. I like that tattoo on your neck. Did you do it yourself? It's like a, is it a dragon holding a knife? Yes. It's nice. Thank you. It's very kind of you. The more I look at the tattoo, the more I'm thinking we should both have because then we'd be tattoo bros. Exactly. Anybody would be able to look at us and know we are friends. You're right. You're so right about that. You think you'd give me the same tattoo? Would yeah. that be weird? Nah, I think it'll it be chill. It would be weird having the same exact one. Nah, I don't worry uh, about it. I'll, I'll, I'll think of one. Yeah, you know, it's chill. You can have what the same like tattoo. What about like a robot arm coming out of the side of my head and it's holding a wrench? So you got the dragon and the knife, and mine's similar, but more robot thing. Like a robot scared tattoo? Man, that'd be so cool. Would be. Oh, would be. speaking of being cool, idea, I've got something there. even better to show you. Okay. Gyroscopic controls. What? It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, yes. tilt it around to aim, and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And you shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try it. Wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim, and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. Wait, how do you and pick you up... shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try it. How do you pick up the desk? I've missed that part. Tilt the desk to aim it. Keep that thumb. How much did the tattoo hurt when you gave it to yourself? Did you have the proper tools? No, I bet not actually. Actually, use a needle. Yeah, no, I'm thinking about it. You know, and. You probably had to ash. heat up a pin with the lighter or yeah. something. That sounds. I mean, that sounds. Pretty awesome. It was. It hurt. It was pretty awesome. Tattoo it wasn't just had instead of a robot hand coming out holding a wrench. What if it was like a skeleton? You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? Is he human on the inside, or does he have like a skeleton trapped in him? That's such a you know tattoo what? idea. Skeleton on tattoo. I decided that's the one I want. So when we get a free minute, I'll find a pen and we can heat up that lighter. Okay, we'll do that. All right, everything checks out. This thing is. Perfect. I think we're good to go here. Yes, we are. So, I was saving the best for last. Okay. While you were in jail, I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. Whoa, That's right, that? the owner of the company. Okay. No pressure, but if he likes this, yes. he's going to make us rich. Whoa. Forever. Forever. Are you ready? What does this Let's robot go. need money for, though? Like, this is what's really bothering me. This robot is so dead set on being rich, but he's a robot. Whoa. Okay, these guys have reached ultimate civilization energy. They, they even got flying vehicles. Wow. You guys are at the height of your civilization over there. What's that? That's creepy. What are you going to do with your share of the money? I don't know. I know what I'm going to do is pay off the money I borrowed to make this turret. Really? Okay. Like immediately pay it off. Oh, that's pretty cool. Or if or you don't I'll, get I mean, phew, I'll be in some real trouble. Mm -hmm. Plus the VIG, I'll have to pay that too. <sighs> Does it make sense to you that the VIG is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it. That's weird. Somebody overrode the controls. Uh, Hold on. I think I might have clicked something by accident. May have clicked L2 by accident. Huh. That's one of the appliances I stole from housewares. Why? Oh my gosh, what the hell is that? It's got a gun! It's an ambush! Man, he got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple of spares. <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? Why am I having an appliance war right now? I knew it! It's the housewares department! How did they find out about our turret? I can't believe it. They stole our idea, yeah. and now they're gonna kill us with it. Housewares, man. Destroy our appliances, they're never gonna evil. stop ambushing us. I mean, it's not really an ambush anymore. We know they're coming, but I don't think they're gonna stop coming, though. We need to think of something else. 
Yeah, get away. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh, the they're dangerous. I really think they're gonna keep coming for like basically forever. Destroy it all. Ah! No! He's watching the watching machine. House wears, oh. man. Can you believe it? Those guys are such pieces of what did we ever even do to them? Exactly. Nothing. We just stole their components. There's nothing bad about that. Nice work. I got the Thanks. elevator working again, but we have another 80 floors before we get to cave. We're not going to survive 80 okay, ambushes no. in a row. Your desk should have some buttons on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. They put those on there standard now for safety reasons. So, if you hit all four buttons at once, it should rocket us up to all. Automatic desk launch. Okay, let's do it. Here. We go. We are going to launch in 10, 9, 8, 7. Honesty panel set to flight configuration. 3, 2, 1. We have liftoff. Let's go. Okay, really nice work. Good shooting. Mm -hmm. I think we're good from here. They probably gave up. I don't have given up by now. Yeah. <sighs> okay, let's go show this thing to Cave. Uh, where is it? Also, I do have one quick confession. I didn't actually get an appointment with Cave Johnson. Uh, I lied about that. Uh, no. But it turns out, did. I didn't know this, it turns out nobody's seen him in years. I did know it when I lied to you about our appointment, but it was still pretty new information. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. How the hell are you a parole officer? Like, I think he might be get? a millionaire recluse now. So, well, he could be, dead. be ready for that. There might be a lot of jars. A lot of jars? Hello, Mr. Johnson? Got a head. Gigantic head. Um, do we Let's go just go in. Maybe, yeah. That's not a bad idea. Mr. Johnson! Are you here? Uh, this is kind of creepy. Hey there. What? It's me, Cave Johnson. I'm sorry. What? No, no, not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. I'm going to level with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, make me live forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on Earth a blank check to make you immortal, and this is what they came up with? A yeah, giant head? Pretty <laughs> Off by a mile. No. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Their first plan was to put me in a regular brain-sized computer. Then they'd put that in a robot body and, hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. Huh. So, they kept making it bigger. Big enough to cram every last bit of me into this thing. What happened to my robot body? Still under the head, somewhere, all crushed up. Couldn't support <laughs> the weight. So I the lab boys so. put me in the big head, switched me on, and, uh, I don't know, I panicked. Killed a few of them. Said I'd kill more if they ever came back. Honestly, I, I regret that now. Yeah, I think Anyway, so. that was four years ago. Been trying to get somebody's attention ever since. Get their butts up here and end my suffering. <laughs> now, don't worry about me. It's been a full life, but we're done here. I'm itching for the next step. Heck, I'm excited about it. Don't even think of it as killing me. You're breaking me out of prison. Maybe. I'm just data now. I need you to crack this big clay head open so I can spill out into the universe. So, what do you two eggheads got? Uh, you, uh, you are in luck. 
We actually came up here to show you our new invention. Good stuff. Let's see it. Show them, partner. Okay. Well, I'm waiting. Look, I get it. It feels weird shooting the boss, but it's what he wants. You showing me something or what? I'm supposed to shoot it at him, because I will shoot you. Don't worry. Is it your target? Whoa! That'll work! Yeah. I'll Wait. be honest, I thought you were two lunatics who dragged a toilet up here. But you are <laughs> geniuses. He called us geniuses? No. We need to find his weak spot. Oh, Some of this thing's made of clay. It's all weak spot. Am I Supposed to be destroyed. What's going on over there? Basically. Just a technical issue, sir. Don't stop. Keep shooting him. Damn it, don't we have anything bigger? Because this is not working. Sir. So shoot the metal. What? Okay. Is it working? In the head, I can't see. It's working great, sir. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's not good. Ah, uh, in the Hey, system. you see that? I think that's his power source. It's an extension with so many cables. That what do you think? That doesn't seem okay. That's not safe in the slightest. Oh, here we go. Powering down. All right. Well, how are we going to get our money beyond. if you're dead? Well, I'll, I'll give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. <laughs> yeah, but, uh... You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. Huh. Interesting. All right. Suffering ended in three... <laughs> two... I can't believe this guy's having a <sighs> countdown to his own death. That's hectic. Um... Now what? Backup power activated. Oh, that is so not okay. Uh, you're both fired. Oh, no. Nice. I'm gonna need your key cards. Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too close to the chin, or I won't be able to see them. Uh oh. You know what? It just occurred to me yeah. that the only person who knows Cade Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I don't even tell that story. That anyone actually. Do you know what us. the punishment for murder is? Yeah. They told us in parole officer school. You're not gonna like this. Yeah. Uh, it's life. Your whole life in yeah. prison. We should. Yeah, we, we, we should leave. Yeah, Don't touch so. anything. Yeah. And bring the desk. Yes. Okay, let's, go. let's definitely go. <laughs> oh, shame. Even the Prime Mantis civilization. Shame. Ah, <laughs> my toilet station. Months later. And nothing has been. Good morning, fixed. Charlie. It's me, Gary. Gary, your boss. Uh, so Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good. Hey, you it's just me, mind. Grady. Yeah, just like yesterday. Man, okay. this witness protection program is great. I, I, I don't I, know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. We got cool new names. <laughs> I like yours a lot, by the way. You know, 
Come to think of it, he got us you think they'd move us to another state or give us new jobs or something. It feels like everything is exactly the same, except our first names. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Charlie. How am I inspecting anything right now? This, this game has a lot to disevolve, like a lot to unwrap. It's very, very chaotic. Oh look, there's the head. And he's just... Toilets everywhere. How you doing, sir? Well, I'm controlling his mouth, I think. I don't know... What's happening? <laughs> Look at the toilet in the back making the noises. There's no way that this is the end of the game, right? I'm sorry. What? This is the end of the game, which makes no sense. What's happening? Okay. There's no f what? There's no way that's the end of the game. What? That was the like quickest game I've ever played in my life. What? Uh, I should. I really should have read because I didn't know this was a freaking mini series. What in the hell is happening? Okay, well, I guess, um, yeah, that is, um, that is desk job. <laughs> a lot to unravel in this. I don't understand what just happened. Like, that was the quickest game of my life, and I still don't understand. But, um, anyways, so, yeah, that was, a uh, was an interesting experience. I might add. <laughs> and, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the... The video and i hope that you enjoyed the second episode of strange games that that i find on the internet so yeah anyways goodbye i hope that you enjoy the rest of your day night depending on where you are what time you're watching us i hope that the rest of your venture fork is a good one so yes uh goodbye and yeah i'll see you guys later this is just weird as hell <laughs> And I just wanna lay in the shade, getting no shade, you know what I mean? Under the city lights, wherever the wind go take us. If it's good, we make it contagious, and we vibing.